Hello and thanks for watching this series of Acumatica 2020 R1 new features. So in this video we're going to talk about side panels. And no, not the side panels that we know of from generic inquiries, where you can add a side panel to any generic inquiry. Uh, for example, uh, here's our business account. And we could do that right from editing the generic inquiry. But instead we're going to talk about side panels new to 2020 R1 that can be associated with a screen instead. So like a form screen. So for example, if I open up a case, it might be nice to be able to see while I'm working on this case, maybe other support cases. So to do that, we would go in and create a new customization. We can go into edit project and do it that way. Or we can go into our customization projects and add one. So we'll call this case side panel and we'll open it up. We'll add our screen. And now underneath our screens segment, we have an actions. So there's a number of different actions. If you saw our other video about CRM workflows and how they've been enhanced in 2020 R1. You could see some of the new actions that are there. There's also some additional things, for example, workflows that you can customize. So this is the default workflow. We'll release a future video on how to customize workflows and add dialog boxes and everything to your other screens. But for now, under actions, we're going to create a new action and we'll select navigation side panel that's brand new here so we'll call it case side panel we'll give it a icon anything we're looking for and our destination screen will be our cases but not the screen cases the primary list the generic inquiry so we'll add that there now we need a navigation parameter to get to our cases. We want a list of cases that belong to the same customer. So we'll open this up. We'll select business account. And we'll select business account. Click OK. And we'll publish this. Keep in mind that when you publish customizations, it does restart the application. So if other users are in the middle of doing things, it's not a good idea to run it. So let's move this off to the side or minimize it. We can see it's published here. And let's refresh our case screen. And now what you see, in addition to the case screen, is over to the right, you have a side panel. And for us, the side panel is a list of cases relating to this particular customer. So this is pretty useful. Had I added another action here, I could add as many navigation side panels as I want, and they'll show up as different icons and different sets of data relating to some key field on this case. So let's take another example. How about under sales orders? So we'll go to sales orders. We'll open any one of them up. And maybe it'd be nice while I'm looking at the sales order if I could see a list of open quotes that this customer has. So to do that, we'll go back to customizations. We'll add a new one. Open it up. Add our screen. We'll expand our screen and go to Actions. And we'll add a brand new one. It'll be a navigation side panel.
And again, we'll open up here, sales orders. This time it's a primary list, a generic inquiry. Even though we're customizing the main form screen, what we wanna see on the right panel is the generic inquiry. So for this, we'll add a parameter and it'll be account ID is linked to the customer. But we have another one here that we want to add. We don't want to see all order documents. What we want to do is filter by order type and we want to put QT as the quote order type. Now to do that, in order to type in here, we'll check from schema and we'll put the QT letters in there. So now we'll publish this. We'll slide it over to the side. And we'll refresh our sales order screen. So now over here you could see the side panel if I open it up and you could see it's empty. So let's take a look for a customer we know has some quotes. And you could see quotes here for USA Bartending. So let's add an additional panel here. We'll go to back to our customization screen. We'll create a new one, another navigation side panel. In this case, we'll call it invoices. So invoice panel. The destination screen will be just that, invoices, memos. It'll be a PL, primary list. And we'll add another indicator here. Our parameter will be, once again, our customer. And we'll click OK here. Now we have a second one, and we'll close our preview panel and publish. Okay, we'll move this to the side. We'll refresh our sales order. And now you can see another icon. So this one was our quotes, and this one is our invoices. So that's it. That's how we can put side panels alongside of forms now. And you can see it'll give you a lot of flexibility with your users. Your users can now see convenient information alongside of a document they're working on. If you have any additional questions about how to do this or any other features in Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.